Whoa, what the heck? Didn't you say something about finding gold earlier? There is a chance for this to actually be either like a gold colored foreign coin or a legitimate gold coin. I, pull it out? Yeah, let's do it guys. Three, two. Oh, that's pretty cool. One. Hello everybody and welcome back to another coin roll hunting competition hunt. So today we're gonna be looking through this penny box <laughs> and we're gonna be doing some penny rolls and we're gonna try and find some gold. Just kidding, here's what we're actually gonna be looking for. We'll of course be keeping our eye out for wheat scents, Indian head scents, and flying eagle scents. 1943 steels, 2009, because they are low mintage, and then anything across this bottom row. And then we'll be using this score sheet to tally up points as we go through the rolls. Whoever gets the most points by the end of the hunt wins the competition. All right, guys, so check this out. This box happened to have two enders, both of them being Canadian, and none of them actually being worth any points. Over here on my side, I got a 1999 Canadian. And then over there on Bebo's side, we have a Canadian that we're not really sure uh, what the date is gonna be. So we're gonna start with these rolls and uh, see if anything's gonna come out that's gonna be worth any points on the board for us to get us started. So we're starting at zero, zero, and open up first rolls. And I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I actually haven't done it before like this where we have uh, two cameras going at once. So we'll see how it ends up. But look at this, guys. I just opened up my roll and check this out. I have a Canadian coming out that's actually much older than the one that was on the end. Mm -hmm. And this one is going to be worth points. Check it out, guys. We got a 1959. That's definitely going to be a young head Canadian. We'll flip it over ah. and see it right there. So that's a part of our additional Canadian score sheet. That is five points, basically like finding a Canadian wheat penny uh, in my view. So that's why we add those for points. So one roll down and uh, I five points on the board. Devo's still at zero, but we're getting into roll number two. Let's see what we can find. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? That one. Isn't that a Canadian? Yeah, it looks like it, but it looks a lot better too. Look at that. Do you know what that is? It's a, it's a young boy, right? A young boy. Is that <laughs> no. a young man? No, no, no. I... So you're talking about young head Canadian, young which, head. which is from 53 to 64. It's on the placemat here somewhere. Yeah. Here, let's take a look at this, guys. All right, so yeah, young head Canadians are from 53 up through 64. This is actually a King George the Sixth, which is from 37 to 52. So... Let me take Should a look I at that. Flip it over. Yeah, go for it. It's it's gonna be worth some nice points for you. What's the year on that? 1950. 1950. Yeah. Nice. All right, so that's actually a ten point coin. Crazy guys. There we guys. go. There we go. <laughs> We're getting some nice Canadians out of this box so far. Nothing American though. That's gonna be on the point uh, on the score sheet for us. But I love finding Kate, King George the Sixth. And uh, I think that's really awesome. That's your first one, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can get. Maybe we'll get a King George V. Some of these look kind of old, and then I get excited. It's just like the last time with like the... Whoa, that looks nice. Yeah. I'll pull that out. Is that... Is what it? year is that? It's like 1981. No, 68. 68. That's pretty good. Shiny. It's a really nice looking one right there. It's not going to be counting for any points, but definitely I would pull that out. Oh, there you go. 2009. I nice. Got yeah, it I think I got it. Let's take a look. We got 2009. That is called Birth and Early Childhood, the first in the series. It's going to give you one more point, so it brings you up to 11. And I am at 5. Still haven't found anything since that young head. Hey, I got a 2009 over here too, right after you got yours. There you go. So it's going to bring me up uh, one more point. This is the formative years. Let's take a look at that. Pretty nice looking coin right there for being well over 10 years old now. It's crazy to think that. Yeah, 2009, and that one is a Philadelphia. All right, let's keep moving, see if there's gonna be anything else in this roll to give us some points. Maybe it'll tie us up. If we can find a five point coin here, but it doesn't look like it, so we will just go ahead and get on to the next. This looks like it has some a chance at some, some good stuff here, guys. Uh, I see a lot of copper for sure, so maybe our first wheat will be coming out. I think we're well over 10 rolls in here. Yeah. <laughs> Still no wheat pennies yet, but we got some. We got a chance here. It would be nice, because I'd be able to tie it up, so. All right, let's go through this one. I'm gonna try and get a wheat penny for you. Yeah? <laughs> we'll see who's the first to get there. All right, let's, 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 let's get it, guys. <laughs> bunch, of, bunch of copper right there. 64, come on. <laughs> It's not like the nickels. The 64 is not like the worst thing in the world. I like seeing 60s coins. Gets gets you back there towards uh, the 50s, but oh my gosh. Just got through Nothing. the whole thing. No, not that I could tell. I mean, there's a lot of copper in here. Just just no wheat pennies. No! It looks like we're going to be tied here, guys. I just no! got another Canadian. 
How are all of the points coming out? I've been Canadian so far, and that's continuing here. Look at that. 1962, definitely going to be a young head. And it was kind of cool because yours like flipped with the King George VI showing. Mine have both shown dates, so I got the 59 before, 62 now. A couple of young heads equals a King George. And we each have a 2009 as well, so we are at 11 points apiece. No! What does Michael Scott say? No! God, please, no! No! God, please, no! No! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly like that. Oh, hey, it looks like I got a 2009 here that I almost missed. And it's a good thing I caught that, because it looks like every single point is going to be counting here. Uh, we got a 2009. Once again, formative years, so that's going to bring me up to 12. Taking the lead there, so definitely want to be on the lookout for 2009s. Don't pass any of them. I off. am. I'm looking. I'm looking. I promise. All right, guys. We just took a very slight lead. A five-point coin could put you ahead easily. Oh, look at no, that! No, I literally just <laughs> opened this one. Give me. Let me breathe. And you might still find one, but guys, me... I think I just got the first weedy. You can see the date right there. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. 1946, pretty common, but it's a wheat penny. It's pretty scratched up too, isn't it? Let's flip that over to see the wheat. There we go. 1946, that brings me up to 17, and you're still at 11. So you got some catching up to do at this point. Don't even point. let me breathe. What about 1952? Is that anything? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a wheat penny. <laughs> I thought you knew that was a wheat penny. I did it. <laughs> It's from, it goes up to 58. Oh, right. I'm yeah. sorry, because you said in the 60s it's close. Yeah. Yeah, I got a 1952, everybody. Here, flip it over. We'll, we'll confirm. I'm sure it's a weedy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. So that brings you up to what? Looks like 16. You're one point off because I got an extra uh, 2009. Oh, yeah, that's why. We basically have like the exact same coins at this point. I mean, other than the fact that you got King George the Sixth, I got two young heads. If you find a 2009, we'll be like at the exact same spot. So, all right, let's keep going, guys. This is uh, this one's heating up. I saw one. I thought it was a 2009, but it was just a 2001. It tricked me. <laughs> Wait, how did, a, how did a one look like a Don't nine? Don't ask me questions, <laughs> please. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, oh, it was just a 2019, you know, no. something that ends with a nine. Ooh, I see, I see a Canadian. Ooh, that looks good. What is that? Yeah, you got a young head. Nice. <laughs> so it looks like you're going to be pulling ahead with that one. Now, the question is, what is the date going to be on that? Could be as early as 53. 64, sorry. You gotta make sure you're on. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a 64. But hey, young head's a young head that gets you five more points, <gasps> brings you up to 21. What? So, Wait, yeah. I feel like I should put this like. Yeah, over put it there. up over by that Oops, uh, King I... George. So, how much was that? Five points? Yeah, so that's gonna bring you up to 21. I'm at 17 right now. I If I get a five point coin, I'll take that lead back. That's why those 2009s are so important. They really kind of throw the score for a loop. So, all right, let's keep going here, see what else we can find. Can we just say that the 1960 is a wheat head? No. Just for a funsies? Wheat, wheat head. A wheat. <laughs> wheat. Set. Whoa, what the heck? What? Didn't you say something about finding gold earlier? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yo. Wait a minute. Okay, more likely than not, this is going to be a gold plated penny, but. There is a chance for this to actually be either like a gold colored foreign coin or a legitimate gold coin. Okay. You I, pull it out? Yeah. Let's do it, guys. Three, two. Oh, that's pretty cool. One. Okay. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be gold plated, probably. It's just a penny. It's not a foreign coin, unfortunately, but it's a 1976. It's a nice copper coin right there. I've never seen anything right like there. that. So yeah. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. I think it's just really funny because like that's what you said at the beginning. You're yeah. like, we're going to be looking for gold. And we did find gold. <laughs> just that's to awesome. make it clear. <laughs> that's really cool. All right. Nice. 1976. Not going to count job, for any points, you. though. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're still in the lead, though, so I got to find some coins that are going to count for points here. And look at that. Just like that, guys. We got ourselves oh, a young head here. And uh, this one's actually going to be a nice little date reveal this time. So anything in the 50s, by the way, when you're looking for young heads, the 50s are best. So 53, 54, 55, those are the ones you want to be on the lookout for. Flip this over to see what we got for a date here. 
And we also got a 64. So that five is, points? Yeah, five points. That's crazy though, because you just pulled a 64. I also got a 64 and a gold. <laughs> so. Uh, I think one, that, you are one point ahead. Yeah, just one ahead because I got that extra 2009. I had to like count it on my fingers. If you can find a 2009 though, you will you will tie it up and we'll be like at exactly the same coins. All right guys, nothing else in that roll. So we'll get on to the next. Oh, I think I got another 2009 here. Every point counts guys, look at this. This one's kind of messed up actually. Well, let's see if it's gonna, and of course it's gonna be formative years. The three in a row on that, and you got the birth and early childhood over there. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy, I got three in a row. Um, how much is that? Uh, just one point. One? So I'm pulling ahead two. Does that bring me up to 23? 23. Yep, and you're at 21. Oh guys, I think I just got another weed over Can here. Can you calm down? I'm sorry. It's gonna be just like last oh, time. I found the Canadian. Is it older? <laughs> um. I don't know. Oh, it could be, yeah. It definitely has that darker tone to it. Here, let me just show this real quick and then we'll switch over to you. So this one's a 41 and uh, it's gonna be worth uh, five points, right? Yeah, for the 40s and 50s. Not too bad. Uh, once again, pretty common, but uh, I'll definitely take it. Okay. Now I'll switch over to Debo and see what she's got over there. It looks like a nice Canadian coming out. I feel like it's not gonna be, yeah, 1960. No. Oh, 1964. Yeah that's, yeah, that's points right there. Oh, yay! So <laughs> just as soon as I get a wheat, you get a Canadian. Yeah. Basically offset each other. So that's another five points. Nice. So you're keeping it, uh, keeping the lead at two. <laughs> and that's uh yeah this one's definitely gonna come down to the wire i can already tell that's a that's a 2009 right there is it really yeah. that's the, actually the rarest one to find wait really yeah oh. the last in the series so i've got three formative years in a row that one's called the presidency that's actually pretty that's the hardest one to find so that's that's the one you want right there there you go all right so you are bringing it ever so closer you are within <laughs> one now so that's awesome 1945 are you serious? Yeah, right there. Oh my gosh. You are definitely pulling ahead with that one. You just got a 1945 wheat penny right there. Flip it over to the other side. We'll see that wheat back. So what is that for the box? You've got, it looks like one wheat penny here. I've got two. So that's the fourth one on the box so far. Brings you up to 32 points and I'm at 28 right now. This is uh. A lot of lead changes in this one. I feel like this one might actually end in a tie. We'll just have to see. Oh wait, actually. What's this one? Oh, I got a 1942. Wait a minute. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, we, we both have things. So I'm gonna let you okay. go first because yours is more interesting. Go ahead. Yeah, I got this 1942 wheat penny. Nice. <laughs> yeah, all the wheat's coming out in like the second half, it seems like. <laughs> and then you get the wheat side there for us. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. all right. So that brings you up to 37. And uh, I'm gonna make a few of those points back, it looks like, but not very many. Check this out, guys. I got a couple of 2009s coming out here. So here's the first one. A couple? One. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. And I'm finally breaking away from the formative years. I got a birth and early childhood right there. So that's one more point. And then I think I see another one right here, yeah. Let's see if we can get that presidency that uh, Debo grabbed on the last <laughs> roll. And Oh, nice, we got it. So we got a presidency here as well. And it's a 2009 Denver. Uh, is yours a Philadelphia? Here, let me check it real quick. Yeah, that one. Let's see if that's... Uh, yeah, yours is the Philly. So one of us has the rarest one in the series. I don't know if it's you or me, because I don't know if the Denver or the Philly is, is more rare, but nice. Okay, so I got two points on that roll. You got five, so you're definitely still in the lead by uh, quite a bit. Yeah, you're at 37, I'm at 30. So I have four rolls to make up seven <laughs> points, and that's granted that you don't find any more, so... We'll just see how the rest of this one goes. So. Oh, 2009. Oh, that's actually the only one, one that we haven't found yet. Sweet. So that's the presidency right there, 2009. And that completes the series because, you know, we both got an, a birth and early childhood. I have a bunch of formative years over here. Uh, we both got a presidency as well, and you just got uh, the, uh, pr or, sorry. Actually, no, that... Oh, Professional Life is the name of that one, not not the Presidency. The presidency is the oh. fourth in the series. You got more? I got a wee penny. Oh my gosh, you are- 1944. <laughs> you are totally pulling away with it right now. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll keep, uh, keep looking here, guys. 
<laughs> you got a 44 over there? I gotta flip there. this over. Oop, it's upside down again. I don't <laughs> yeah. know how to like... So the American coins flip like uh, in, like inverse. Like you gotta flip them like upside down. Okay. Um, the Canadian coins flip uh, the opposite of that. And I didn't find anything in that roll. So you are seriously pulling ahead here. Yeah, what are you yeah. at? 43 now? And right? Is that... Did I do my math right? Uh, yep. Yeah, it looks right. So... Wow, okay. I got three more rolls to make up like a lot of points, guys. Let's keep going. I got something over here, guys. This looks like it's going to help. Actually, look at that. We got two that are gonna help, big time. Look at this, so right over here on this side, this is the second one I, fought, I saw. It's a 42, no mint mark, so that's five points right there. And then actually the first one I saw in the roll was this right here. Another wheat penny coming out for us. Boo! It's a 1953 Denver. So that is a, is a 10 point roll so far. I need to I needed to make up 13 points. I just made up 10 of them right there. <gasps> and the roll isn't even over yet, guys. So this Stress. one this one is closer than you might have thought. Let's keep moving here. See what else we can find. Oh, 2009. Oh, nice. There you go. Cool. And that is formative years. So it looks like I think you found every single one just by yourself at this point. Yeah. You know, Chad, who I'm a huge fan of, and uh, he uses Shout our placemats. He uses our placemats a lot. And uh, he actually does a special thing where if you find all four of the 2009s, you get an extra five points. Uh, we don't do that. That's sort of off the record. I think we should do that. <laughs> well, we'll see how it turns so, out. So, I think I should get an extra 10 points. <laughs> well, actually, I'm pretty close to getting that, too. All I need is the professional life well, to get the same thing. Well, let's hope that you don't, and I can get the full 10 points. I thought I said 5. I heard 10. I'm pretty sure I said 5. I heard you say 10. Okay, all right. Well, we'll get on to the next one, guys. we got two more rolls to go. <laughs> actually, you know what? Why don't we just do those live and see what comes out? So you got an extra point there. That brings you up to 44. I'm currently at 40. So this this box ended up being a little better than I thought it would based off of the it first half. It just took half. some time. Yeah, it definitely is like picking up here in the second half. I can't. Oh, look at that. No. Yeah, guys, no. look at that. Oh my gosh. What is that? I got a young head. No. I pulled it out because I was looking at this weird coin right here. But look at this, guys. I think I'm actually going to take a lead with that, aren't no. I? No. Yeah, I am, you yeah. are. It's going to bring me up five points right there. And this one is a 61. So, not the best young head, but worth five points. And that is another lead change right here, coming down and right at the end. And look at that, guys. I mean, right, can, can you just... <laughs> I, I can't believe how crazy this box is getting at the end here. Look, we just pulled another wheat penny right there. Oh my gosh. I definitely thought you were gonna pull away with it because you were 13 ahead there for a second. We just got ourselves a 1946 wheat penny. During Black History Month? Hey, you know what? I don't I don't make the rules. Actually, I do make the rules. You do. Rules. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so all right. That is uh going to bring me up five more to 50 points. I'm not writing that down. Uh yeah, actually, I think you have to. <laughs> I'm not doing and it. And look, here's the thing though. This may end up differently depending on if we go by Chad's rule or not. So, we'll see how I that, think We'll see how that works out. Raise your hand if you think <laughs> we should use CFAs. <laughs> Rule here. All Dang, right. I, nothing. I don't see anything else here. So, so you're at 10 points, you said? Five more points on, because I got the All right, penny so there. So yeah, I, I'm up to 50. You're at 44, so you need a five point coin uh -huh. and a one point coin just to tie. Of course, if we count that, uh, you know, the extra five points for the- You mean 10 points? No, I think, I'm pretty sure it's five. I think it was 10. All right, well, we'll see how this last roll goes guys let's uh, get into it now and uh, see what we can get here so we're just going to open this one live so we'll keep the commentary going here now i wouldn't be surprised if nothing came out of this last one because a lot of these rolls had nothing of course the second half seems to be doing a lot better for us so we'll, we'll see what comes out so far i'm not seeing a whole lot but still even remember even if you get that five points you need at least one more point just to tie so you gotta keep that in mind. This has definitely been a good hunt so far. Lots of lead changes. And uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Make sure to smash that like down below if you have. All right, we're getting down to the getting down to the wire here. <laughs> Seeing anything over there? No. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing much either. Just a few coppers. That's kind of an interesting one right there. But look, guys, I just made it to the end of the roll there. Nothing. And nothing here, nothing there. <gasps> so here's the thing, guys. We need to we need to consult Chad at this point. Is that first of all, are we gonna do that where you have four 2009s equaling five points if you get every single one of them? Do you want to show you have all four of them, right? I think it was ten points. All right, let's 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 make sure. <laughs> let's first let's make sure if you actually have it or not. So let's let's see what you got so here. I'll show mine. This one. So I have only three out of the four. I got the presidency, really nice right there. Form of years, I got plenty of those. And then birth one? and early childhood right there. And I'm pretty sure that Debo got all four of them. Let's let's see. Where's my here? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got all four right there. So we got uh, here. I'll put them in order for you. There we go. Sure so we got. In. Yeah, go for it. Oops. So right there we got uh, birth and early childhood, formative years, uh, professional life, and presidency. All four of them. Chad, we gotta know, is that worth five points or 10 points? Cause actually the lead depends on it. I think it's worth 10 points um, because on top of that, like I'm just a cool person. So I think that adds points. And then on top of that, I just think it's fair. Wait, but what about this gold penny though? Isn't I think I cool? should actually get the point for that because I was the one that said- the point, we didn't even say it's yeah, worth any points. Well. I think it is worth points, and I think I should get it because I was like, we're going to be searching for gold. So what you're saying is you get one point for this, five points for this, and then we're tied. No. This is worth 10 points. Well, then why are you arguing about these points if they don't even matter? Because it still matters. <laughs> Every point matters. All right, we're going to have to... I, basically, if we're going by the book, I won the competition. It sounds like mm -mm. if we're going by Chad's rules, then Devo won the competition. Definitely a controversial one here. Let me know down in the comments below who you were rooting for and who you think won. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I won, but it's okay. Well, we'll have to see down in the comments below if people agree with that or not. But uh, anyways, guys, this was a really fun one. Thank you so much, Devo, for coming on once again. Once again, if you want to pick up one of these coin roll hunting placemats to aid you in your own penny roll hunting, you can head on over to quinscoins.com. I also have nickel and silver stacking placemats up there for you as well, as well as these awesome Quinn's Coins hats. Definitely cop one of those if you haven't already. Once again, that's quinzcoins.com. I'll put the link down in the description below. Anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Always bring you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins signing out. And we will see you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another... <laughs> Come on. I see what you're I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Devo, and this is Quinn, and we're part of Quinn's. What's up, everybody? My name is Quinn from Quinn's Coins. Hey, yo, what's up? It's Devo and Quinn from Quinn's Coins, and today we're going to be looking at pennies. Going to have some fun. <laughs>